Okay, we're going to carry on with Raphael a little bit here. We're going to look at something that sometimes gets a little bit tricky, but I think I like the way the, this, the way this problem is done. You know, Raphael, I think he had those 37 payments, and then there was this little fraction at the end. We're going to figure out the value of his final payment. Now, how do you do that? Well, you just take the value of the loan and figure out how much the bank would... Um, want with that, you know, after 37 months, this is the total value of the, of what the, is owing the bank after 37 months. This here, if you use your future value thing, that's the total value of 8,000 accumulated for 37 months. The difference is, is what you owe with one month to go. So that you've almost got your answer, but you don't have your answer. Why don't you have your answer? Well, this is at the beginning of the month. You've got to take that that um, final amount that's sewing with 37 months and then grow it for one more month. That's the big trick with um, finding a final payment. And if we go back and we took a look um, there, um, that's a lot less than 8,000. And if you came back here and look, hey, when we did this thing, and you did it in a calculator, you get 37 comma 3, and then there four, there's a whole bunch of decimal places in your calculator. That's the fraction of a payment that you have that you owe. And there's a way to put it in the present value formula. You can put that fraction in there and get very, very close to this same amount. You've got a whole bunch of decimal places there, and all you do is take all of those decimal places, take as many as much as you can and you just put it into the present value um, formula, and you'll get this little fraction here. You'll get the same thing. But remember, grow it for a month. This is actually better for doing this. You get, I don't know, sometimes the other way goes a bit crazy. You can use present value. Better to grow the money for 37 months, whatever the thing, and then this, and then subtract what your um, future value of all of those payments together That'll give you the amount outstanding with one payment to go and then grow it for one month worth of interest. And there you go.